Bishop, what is the prevailing situation in the prelature of Isabella? In general, there is that fear among the residents in Basilan because of the, the war happening there in Ginanta, Albarca, as well as now in Onkaya, Pukan. And because of that, the residents are restless. In fact, there are rumors of impending burning of the public market of the city of Isabella Basilan. And that has caused sleepless nights on many people of Isabella city. Mm -hmm. And to which factors would you attribute the seeming tension in the province? I believe the tension is caused by distrust among the Muslims and Christians. If there is only real trust to one another, I believe we can talk freely and we can associate freely, then we can have an exchange of notes and in that way the bias will be diminished and we can really have the 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 exchange of of relationship and in that case I think I believe there will be no goodwill. apprehension to one another. Uh, so there will be goodwill once again. Yeah, that's true. Okay, in a previous interview, Bishop, uh, you said there are no evacuation centers because most of those affected families uh, sought shelter from or among their relatives. So how do you assist them? Well, because they could not go to their farm, they could not work, then because of that, the, there is hunger mm -hmm. among the evacuees. And also the children mm -hmm. could not go to school, and in fact, the 10 schools now are being closed. And because of this, the children are scattered, and also the the immobility of people is really very very factual mm -hmm. and because of that the there is a need really to for the government to intervene what to do because it is only the government can solve the the problems now and also i believe also the the mayors, the mayors on those affected areas must assert mm -hmm. the, their governance. I believe if they believe that civilian authority is supreme over the military, then they have to do something in order that their constituents will be given a sense of security. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop, tell us, how are the children coping with the prevailing uncertainty in the area? The church has organized the NGOs, and we we are we are sending our workers for the debriefing of children, and the church also through the Isabella Foundation and the other NGOs have put up the learning space center for children to come because the teachers refuse to to go back to report to their schools. Ten schools are closed and so the children are scattered. So we have to gather the children and they're in that process. We have to we have to have some psychological uh, debriefings on these children of war. Really? As Bishop of uh, Isabella would you say there's hope that peace would once again reign in the prelature? Yeah, I think there is, this is a process of purification. I am hopeful time will come that we will really experience peace because there are so many efforts, Muslims and Christians, in order really to work together for peace. And because of these efforts, I believe ultimately the the reign of peace will prevail in the island province of Basilan. So how would our viewers respond? How would they be able to help if and when they could? Uh, would you be accepting donations? 
Would this uh, concern viewers help by touching base with the prelature of Isabella? The NGOs have really gathered together the Isabella Foundation Incorporated, a social arm of the Roman Catholic Church, the Nagdilaab, the Samal Foundation, Claret Samal Foundation, and other NGOs have come together and then they decided that if ever there are help, then it will be the, the, dropping, the dropping center will be the Caraceta Formation Center and it will be course through the Social Action Coordinator, Sister Ruth Diaz, SFIC. Mm -hmm. How would our viewers touch base with them? Would you have their contact numbers? Would you have their email addresses? The, well, I have only my, I have, I have memorized only my email, the oh. small letters martinhomuad at hotmail.com. Mm -hmm. And I, if you call the, the chancery, it is 062-274-24. What's your message to our viewers, to our listeners? What would you want to tell them how they could help Basilan? First and foremost, please pray for us here in Basilan. We want peace. Pray for us that we could sleep freely and also peacefully. Pray for us that we can move around Basilan without fear. Pray for us that we will be living harmoniously with your brother Muslims and Christians. And also, I ask all of you to really send messages, support to the Muslims and also to the Christians. Write letters for them so that they will realize that we are all brothers and sisters under the, under the headship of the, the all, almighty and powerful God who is the source of life and goodness. Thank you. Thank you.